Hey everybody, I'm Anthony, and this is the Dynamic Buzz. As you probably already noticed, I'm alone. Since school ended, John and I have been a little out of sync with our different schedules, uh, both being really busy. But if you still need your John fix, you can check him out at his new movie review channel called Second Rate Report. Uh, there's a link down in the description if you want to go check that out. Now I'm going to try to get back in the swing of things by posting a dynamic buzz every Monday and a dynamic review every Thursday. So without further ado, let's get started with this episode. Leave it to Tony Stark to bring in the money. Now, even though I wasn't the biggest fan of Iron Man 3, I still have to give the movie credit because after five weeks of being released, Iron Man 3 has earned $1.142 billion. This made it the fifth highest grossing film of all time. The only films that come before Iron Man 3 were number one being Avatar, number two being the Titanic, number three being the Avengers, and number four being Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Now, this movie was great. I enjoyed it. I thought the CG was great. I thought the acting was great. There were just some plot holes that I, I, I didn't find interesting. If you really want to know what I thought about the movie, you can check out me and John's review that we made at the beginning of this month. Um, but overall, I just I think it's incredible that this movie has come in and, I mean, leave it to, like I said, leave it to Tony Stark and the Iron Man films to, to bring in all the money. Um, a lot of people didn't know this was the beginning of Phase 2, which it didn't really lead into Phase 2. It didn't give us any idea of what we to expect for, like, Thor 2, uh, possibly an Ant-Man movie, Guardians of the Galaxy, we didn't get any anything like that. But still, this was supposed to be the transition into the next the next phase of the Avengers, the Avengers, not the Avengers Protocol, but the Avengers movies. Speaking of Marvel movies, Thor 2, The Dark World, launched its official website yesterday. The website currently doesn't have a lot on it. It has the official trailer, it has the official synopsis. It has a gallery of a total of five photos, which have already been released to the public, so it's nothing new. But it also has downloadable content. Now, the downloadable content contains some really cool GIFs that we haven't seen yet of a little bit of the battles. You kind of get a better look at the main villain, the Dark Elf. Um, you also get some wallpapers for your computer. You get some Facebook covers. You get some Twitter covers and Twitter skins, whatever that is. But, I mean, you know, the, it's just now starting, so hopefully we'll get more as time goes on. But uh, yeah, so keep your eye on that. We'll leave a link to that website in our descriptions as well. In the recent month, it's been made official that Paul Giamatti will be playing the classic Spider-Man villain Rhino in Mark Webb's Amazing Spider-Man 2. Now, Webb has been tweeting and posting pictures from the set of the Amazing Spider-Man 2 of different characters, of just the set in general. So it's been really cool and we feel like we were really a part of, of the movie being made. So nothing really surprised us so far. Uh, he also had posted pictures of Paul Giamatti driving a truck or I think it was a van. Now, I personally thought that, okay, so he's called the Rhino. They're not going to make him in his traditional giant robot, or not robot, but his exo rhino suit, rhino exo suit. Um, and instead I thought, okay, so he drives trucks in the walls. So he's like a rhino, so he, he just like rams into buildings, and that's, that's kind of his thing. But yesterday, uh, an image was tweeted and released that showed Paul Giamatti inside of a kind of gray exo suit. Now, there was no bottom to it. It was just a top, and it kind of went over his shoulders, almost like a roller coaster ride, and then up, and I think I'm going to post a picture here to the side of the image. But if you get a really good look at it, so we have an idea that we will be seeing Rhino in a possible in his possible CG armor. So uh, stay tuned for that. As soon as information becomes available, we'll post it. Moving on to some rare video game news. It's been a few months since Cartoon Network canceled the Young Justice animated series, but that still hasn't stopped its video game from being developed. Developer Little Orbit posted the first real trailer of the upcoming game, titled Young Justice Legacy. Now, this game isn't too thrilling due to its looks, because the graphics look really just too much like a PS2 game. Uh, kind of blocky, kind of dark, uh, just not up to the standards that you'd expect a, a superhero video game to be up to. Uh, we had Arkham Asylum, Arkham uh, City, and the upcoming Arkham Origins. We even had the Marvel Ultimate Alliance, where their graphics just looked a lot better than what I'm seeing for this video game. But the exciting part about this game is it promises to fill in the gaps between Season 1 and Season 2. Uh, that's really exciting because we get to finally find out what happened to Aqua Girl and even Jason Todd. 
Um, so that's something to look forward to, and I'm really excited. If you want to look at our descriptions below, we will post a link to the trailer. Alright, moving on to comics that are coming out this Wednesday. Uh, my top three comics that I'm looking forward to for this Wednesday are number one being Venom, issue 35, which is Cullen Bunn's start to the Night of the Symbiote Slayer. Uh, in this issue, we see uh, Flash Thompson and Eddie Brock team up together to protect the city of Philadelphia. The second time I'm looking forward to this week is Earth 2, annual issue number one. James Robinson crosses into new grounds by introducing Earth 2's newest Batman. Uh, who this Batman's going to be, no one really knows right now. Uh, but all we know is that he's going to play a huge part in Earth 2. He's also going to play a huge part in the new DC universe. Um, now, no one's really sure who it might be. Uh, my, my thoughts that it might be a Damian Wayne. I mean, we might see a version of Damian Wayne in this universe, and that will make up for him dying in the, uh, in the mainstream. It could be Dick Grayson. Who knows? Uh, it could also be a Jason Todd. It could be a Tim Drake. It could be Thomas Wayne Jr. Or, and this is what I saw on uh, online. It could have been Ted Grant, who is the who's Wildcat in the JSA, and that would make sense since Earth Two is kind of the JSA universe. But uh, who knows right now? Uh, the third title I'm looking forward to is The Wake issue number one. Now this is Scott Snyder, who is the popular writer who wrote for Batman, American Vampire, and the new Superman Unchained titles. He presents his own original limited series. And The Wake is supposed to explore the horrors of the deep ocean. Um, it probes the origins of humanity um, and even leaps into the far future of where we might be going. Um, Scott Snyder is never disappointed. Uh, he's thrown out some great titles, um, even in the Batman series, Night of Owls, and uh, he also did uh, Death of the Family. So his stories have yet to have yet to uh, not meet my expectations. So really excited for that one. Here's some other titles to look out for this week. Red Hood and the Outlaws, Annual Issue Number 1. Catwoman, Annual Issue Number 1. Injustice, Gods Among Us, Issue Number 5. The Adventures of Superman, Issue Number 1. Age of Ultron, Issue Number 10, AI. Avenging Spider-Man, Issue 21. Captain America, Issue Number 7. New Avengers, Issue Number 6. Morbius, The Living Vampire, Issue Number 5. Gambit, Issue Number 13. Hawkeye, Issue Number 9. The Indestructible Hulk, Issue Number 8. Scrolling down to the rest of my list. Um, also, we have Adventure Time Annual, number one. Godzilla, issue 12. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, issue 22. Chu, issue 34. Clone, issue 7. And Five Weapons, issue number 4. Hey, thanks for watching. Um, like we said before, visit our website at www.thedynamicbuzz.com. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. Um, leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought of the episode. If you have any ideas of how we can make the episode better without being too rude about it, I'd love to hear it. I'd love to know how I can make the, um, our show better. Uh, also, let me know what you think of the set. Um, visit our website again and like look at our previews, look at our blogs, check out our videos, leave comments, let us know. We love getting views. We love, we love seeing our, uh, our, you know, our view ratings go up like every other comic book does. Um, let us know what you think of the set. Let me know if you think that something should be added, something should be taken away, if it's too much, too little. Uh, I like hearing about it. I like to make things better. Um, so, yeah, that's the Dynamic Buzz. Also, don't forget to check out John at the Second Rate Report. Yeah, um, so check that out. Um, there's a link in the subscriptions. And not in the subscriptions, a link down in the descriptions. Uh, so, yeah, that's the buzz. Ugh. Not sure I want to say that's the buzz. If you can think of a cool slogan for the end of our uh, for the end of the shows, I'd love to hear it. All right.